Hola, hola, my queen bee bakers. So I thought I'd put out a newer version of how I put my cakes together. Um, I haven't put out a video like this in a very long time since like I first started teaching classes and thought I'd be time to do it with this one. <laughs> So I'm putting together a six inch Mexican vanilla cake with strawberry filling. You guys already know my buttercream recipe is up. It will be linked in the description as well. This one is an eight inch cake, Mexican vanilla, and I'm adding cajeta or caramel or dulce de leche. Everyone calls it different things. So each layer is about two inches. And I use four of them. So you get a generous amount of a filling and a generous amount of cake. I love these uh, ratios. I've tested out so many different sizes of cakes that this is my go-to cake ratio. Everyone does them different. This is just what I like and what I've stuck to for the past couple of years. Because again, I've done the three inch layers. I've done I've done four inch layers, I've done one inch layers, and honestly, I really love the look of this cake when people cut into it. Um, and all my clients really just love the ratio of the filling buttercream to cake when they cut it open or when they're serving their slices and whatnot. So this is why I do it this way. And it also gives you a taller cake to work with. It's more even, it's more structured in my opinion again, and everyone does things differently. I just think it looks better this way. It just looks like, oomph. how do I even put it into words? I'm such a weirdo, but you guys get what I'm saying. All right, so now I'm go ahead, going ahead and putting green buttercream on the eight inch cake. I had already crumb coated it, chilled it, so on and so forth. So now we're adding the final buttercream layer. I do do about three to four buttercream layers. It really just depends on the cake and what kind of design the cake's going to end up being. So every cake is not the same. Every cake is different, if that makes sense. So right here I'm scoring and then I'm cutting the boba straws. Remember everything I have in my Amazon storefront, if you guys are ever curious of the stuff that I use or the stuff that you would need, everything's in my Amazon and I even have them all um, categorized for you guys too. So yeah. All right. So I added some buttercream from where the boba straws were and then I'm putting the six inch cake on top of the eight inch cake. Just look at how good it's nice, tall and sleek. Like you just can't go wrong with this height. You really can't. Well, I mean, I guess you get it, you know what I mean? Um, and then I'm adding some extra support. I'm putting a dowel down the center. I use a uh, cardboard, cake cardboards <clears throat> in between the cake layers. So it goes through it pretty easily. I never have trouble when I put a center dowel like that. Then I'm just adding the finishing touches. Everything is just fondant decor, even the rocks. I made the rocks all by hand. Um, Everything is pretty easy. You just cut them out and then you place it on the cake. And then my friend wanted a dino on top and then his name. And then there's his birthday cake. How easy was that though? You guys can do this. I promise you guys. Well, let me know if you guys want an in more in-depth cake tutorial. I'll try to get that out to you. But don't forget to subscribe and like and share. I love you guys. Bye.